we'll get started for today's webinar, which is source documentation. What is adequate and accurate? So a little bit about myself. My name is Marla Helley. I am a registered nurse as well as a clinical research professional. I've been in the industry now for over 25 years. I started out as a research nurse or a study coordinator, sometimes that is a term that is used at an academic center here in the United States. I also have worked as a CRA and a clinical trial study manager and a clinical project manager for both a sponsor and CRO companies. I am certified through the Association of Clinical Research Professionals as a CCRA as well as through the Project Management Institute as a project management professional. And I enjoy training because I like to share my experience to help my colleagues like yourself in clinical research and to also help individuals grow as clinical research professionals. Our learning objectives for today's session will be to define what source documents are. And we're going to look at what the regulations tell us. We're going to look at both what ICH as well as the FDA defines as source documents and we're going to identify what the regulatory authorities require regarding the characteristics of source data. We're also going to analyze the source document worksheets, what we call the love-hate relationship. Sometimes there can be some challenges that face us as we look at the source documents from the sponsor request and then also what the investigational site may view as a source document and then discuss using case report forms as source data or source documents, and then evaluate best practices of source documents. So when we look at an introduction here, we know that there are significant variabilities between what a stakeholder, either the sponsor, CRO, or a monitor or CRA, requires regarding source documentation per a study. So there can be variability between sponsor to site definition, the sponsor project to project variability, and then also what one CRA monitor to another on the same project may see. And so what we want to look at is the creation and the use of source document worksheets and the case report form as the original source have also raised a lot of industry debate. And I hope that this uh, webinar will help answer and clear up some of those questions. And plus, we also have some documents to refer to as well. So when we look at source documents, what is inadequate and inaccurate source? So when the FDA performs inspections, the FDA investigators have identified three areas of deficiencies for both inadequate and inaccurate case histories. And here are what the challenges are. The monitoring of original source documents, both paper and or other media, the combination of both paper and electronic source data, and then the amount and complexity of source data. So information predating trial participation, looking at information during the participation of the trial, and then information following or post-trial. Also, too, I think what's important is when we look at the source, we also need to make sure what information do we need in order to confirm inclusion-exclusion criteria prior to the start of a trial. And so that's also important. We need to get this information up front. Also, the FDA has looked at the quality relative to risk. So as the FDA modernizes its approach, its approach to inspections, it's going to pay particular attention to the big five areas where investigators go wrong, such as falsification or fraud in the data, how they supervise the study and delegation of responsibilities to the staff, also breakdown of communication between the sponsor, the investigator, and the investigator in the IRB. Also, the record retention and maintaining of the records and documentation. And then understanding the key elements of data quality, reliability, 
integrity, and the ability to reproduce this data.